have this uh, pump drive. And the stoves up. In case there are ones. Okay, so now we got basically six quarts there drained out. So we're going to add this to our jug here. So another thing that's nice about this jug and being able to read the level is that, uh, you know, gear lube changes so much because of temperature. It really, like the difference between like winter and summer, you know, it's always a little bit different. So I just like knowing what comes out of it and uh, it makes, makes it easier to get close to the right amount when you're, you're refilling it. So I'm gonna let that drip a little bit. And now I'm gonna move on to the uh, finals. Get some plugs in. So these are magnetic plugs. A little bit of goo on them, nothing serious. Oh, so this, this is a 10 millimeter here. I like to do uh, kind of one step of the process at a time to get all the drain plugs ready and move on to filling them up. Then you are switching between tools. Okay, so now <clears throat> this jug is drained out. It's nice and clean. So I'm going to add oil to this. And that <clears throat> the fill reservoir only takes like a couple quarts. So this process takes a little while. So I'm going to dump some, some in there first to get started with. And then start filling the finals. So the thing I found with this uh, pump drive is it is pretty precise on the amount that it wants and it definitely doesn't want any more and certainly doesn't want any less but if you overfill it it'll get hot and um, so it's best to err on the side a little bit less than a little bit more.
I like to cover this up, waiting on it. <laughs> this pump is awesome. Um, it's made by Fast Flow, and I like the looks of it. I called them up actually, and I said, "Hey, you know, I'm thinking of using this for, for 90 weight gear. Is it gonna work?" They said, "Wow, I don't know. It's not really set up for anything that thick, so we can't tell you." But um, it really works great. And the thing that the reason I was looking for something like this was that. Um, if you've ever had a jug of 90 weight tip over in the back of your truck, like in your driveway, you know, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I wanted something that was sealed. So if it did happen to tip over, it's not going to make a hell of a mess. And so this is just a it's set up for a Scribner jug and um, it's sealed. It can tip over and it pumps really well. I, I just like it. And it's also really clean. You can seal the line. Um, it's just a good tool for the field. It was expensive, but you know how that is. Anything good is. So I got this little adapter. It's just plastic pipe. Got it at Home Depot. And um, you can turn it. And it kind of sits down in there. And it's got a vent on the jug itself. You can watch how much you're pumping, and you know it takes a while, just like any final. It doesn't take oil all that well, but I've used it in the winter outside, and it definitely pumps a little slower, a little harder, you know. But it definitely it's it's worked, and it's worked really well. So I'm very happy with it. So these finals take roughly a gallon and a half. Yeah, I don't know if this pump is a flow fast or a fast flow. It might be a fast flow. <laughs> but it's a good good pump. I think it's kind of set up for or designed for like gasoline, you know. But I am really happy with it. It works pisser and uh, no spills. Keeps it clean, uncontaminated. If it happens to you know set out in the rain. And you know, with the price of a jug of seventy five ninety, and you know, I've seen that happen before too. Water get in. And... So this is a fairly easy service, and uh, I tell you what, you know, my my feeling on this stuff is. With the price of these machines, my feeling is that if uh, if a person thinks that they can skimp on maintenance and come out ahead, they've got a hell of a surprise coming. But for me personally, you know, maintaining it and running it both, um, I would much rather maintain it a lot than fix it at all. And so, you know, like changing the pump drive fluid every 250 hours, which is what they call for. Um, you know, you can easily put over $40,000 into a pump drive if they go out. And that's not counting the time your machine's down. So I'm seeing a drip there, so let's set for a second first.
Yeah, so we'll let that set for a second. Go fill up the other. Yeah, so uh, <coughs> pump drive's got six quarts in it. Got the first fill on the finals. So those are pretty well done. I'll check the finals after a bit. And uh, with the uh, pump drive, you know, I took six quarts out. I put six quarts back in. Uh, like I said, it's always kind of funny, I think. I've, or at least I've found it, you know. I mean, generally it'll be like a little low or sometimes even a little high. I try to keep it on the low side because I can always add, a, you know, a couple ounces or two out of a small bottle pretty easily on the pump drive, so. I guess I'm going to get going on the engine oil. that a little longer and uh, finish off the engine oil.
Okay, I want to check this uh, level. Other side's good. This side's good. Mm-hmm.